What is going on YouTube? This is Ask the Guru. So I'm going to review the collaborative EP between horrorcore rappers Bang Belushi and King Gordy. Basically, this project is called Heroina, and it came out in the summer of 2016. Now, I'm somewhat aware of like the group The Fat Killers that King Gordy is a part of, but I would also say I didn't know that much about Bang Belushi. I've been, I had known about, I had known about this particular project for a decent while because I wanted to know more about King Gordy's particular kind of catalog, but I didn't know that much about Bang Belushi, so I wanted to see some more about, but I didn't know that much about Bang Belushi, so I wanted to see about this particular project. So Bang Belushi is a part of The Fat Killers. He's one of the, he's a notable, so Bang Belushi is a part of the Fat Killers, which is a group with King Gordy as far as I kind of went. And King Gordy's basically kind of doing like a smokage type project for just a good amount of songs for like some smoking and that type of stuff as far as I kind of have. Definitely some good stuff here. It's a good concept as far as I kind of have. It's just a real nice green tint as far as I kind of have some good smoke tunes as far as I kind of go some good 420 music. And I just kind of look after the thing about this particular album is it was kind of in limited edition when it came to the hard copies. I'd say for CD, it's only available. It was only available for like a short while on CD as far as I kind of went. But I still think it's worth it. I would have to say this is a pretty overall quality project. I'd have to say it's just some overall good fun, especially for like some smoke tunes and stuff like that as far as it kind of happens. This is a good introductory. This was a good introductory for me in terms of being introduced to Bang Belushi as far as I kind of went. I do think that King Gordy was particularly on fire on here. So this is some good stuff. This is not really as much of like a horrorcore project i'd have to say the thing about it is it's just a lot more just of like smokish type tunes kind of similar to the great american weed smoker album by king gordy i'd have to say but this is some good stuff definitely has some warp type tunes and just some great tunes to get cranked to and kind of get stoned as hell as far as that kind of happens i'd have to say so the single off this particular project was put it out i'd have to say and basically out of six songs in this particular ep i wound up recommending five the only real song i don't recommend out of the six on here is just the outro which to talk about that one that one just had like a poor production this was not that interesting it was just not a very compelling one to kind of have as far as i kind of want the intro just stomps all over the outro as far as i kind of have it's just not a very compelling listen as far as i kind of have this was not quite as riveting as far as that kind of went but yeah the other five songs really kick ass the single was put it out the first single was put it out so i'm gonna go ahead and talk about this one basically the first single put it out is kind of like a bump in kind of crunk hazy smoke session i'd have to say it's a fun dreary kind of late night times of a song i'd have to say and it's just a glaring kind of trippy beat that it has and it's just an overall nice tune so this is a pretty pounding one this is definitely kind of a smoke build kind of campy type song i'd have to say as far as it kind of happens it's a real kind of demonic type one that just really feels like some claustrophobic put it out just really feels like some claustrophobic kind of crunk type song as far as it kind of happens it's just a real nice haziness as far as it kind of happens great single to kind of have it's interesting kind of see bang belushi on a single as far as I kind of went because he's a lot more underground than King Gordy is and King Gordy's pretty underground as far as I kind of have so I just like the concept of particularly getting this one great little crunk song to kind of have here just like I was saying a claustrophobic type one just real dreary type one for late at night probably something past 9 30 p.m something to that sense that's a good concept about it and the only real horrorcore type song on this particular project is just the intro this is kind of like a glaring kind of horrorcore like intro I would have to say it's, this song has a manic kind of vampiric organ beat I'd have to say and it's just a vintage Gordy and Belushi I'd have to say and it's just some overall good drive so this is a definite nice one just really like the vampiric type piano beat on here this works extremely well nice organ beat just real horrific in that sort of tone just a real glaring beat that kind of works in a lot of ways it's very kick-ass as far as that kind of happens it's overall nice one definite pretty excellent intro I'd have to say another hit song on here is do my drugs this is basically like a dungeon like hangout fun of a song i'd have to say it's a liddy kind of weekend night the song is just a liddy weekend night i'd have to say it's some heavy smoke times definitely and it's just got a thumping kind of social fare about it so this is a pretty nice one this really kind of feels like some dungeon type fare that you'd get from like alice in chains or other black or doom metal something like that this is a this is a rap song but it just works in like a good kind of den like music dungeon like music this kind of hangout fare as far as that kind of happens do my drugs works just like some campy kind of house party type music as far as i can have it so that's another nice one as far as i can it goes roaches is a pretty good highlight on here this is like an excellent kind of wake and bake kind of soulful gleam of a song i'd have to say it's a nice breakfast and kind of morning commute haze of a song definitely it's just got an overall good mixtape feel so this is a pretty stellar one i'd have to say this is one that reminds me of lil wayne's kush from 2007 definitely something like that it's a good kind of soulful type tune that you'd hear on a mixtape from gz or cameron or folks like that from like the 2000s as far as i can have it's just a real nice one to kind of hear king gordy and bang belushi kind of on this works pretty well as far as i can have it's just a real nice soulful one good highlight and then stimulate your mind 
And then Stimulate Your Mind is another nice one. This is basically like a sleepy kind of smoke session song, and it's great for 4.20 p.m. I'd have to say great song to listen to at 4.20 and smoke a few as far as I can have them. It has a refined bustle about it, I'd have to say. It's just good for some social comedy. So this is kind of one that's a little bit more out and about as far as I can have. It's just kind of one that you'd listen to where you're smoking and getting stoned and that type of stuff, but also you have a little bit of <sighs> Stimulate Your Mind is one where you have a little bit of jostle about you. It's just kind of a more in motion type song for being out and about and having some bustle as far as I can have. It's definitely a pretty jostling one. This works. It's a pretty good sense. It's a good smoke session to kind of have and just be out and about. So some good fare as far as I can have and just some good motivation. This is what I have to say. So that's basically the EP as far as that kind of happens. So that's basically the EP as far as this project particularly kind of happens. So I'm going to go ahead and give this EP like a 10 out of 10. I'm going to go ahead and give this EP like a 10 out of 10 as far as that kind of goes. Definitely deserves a score as far as that kind of happens. Just some excellent kind of smoke tunes and just bustle about it that just has some real great times. Just overall good songs to kind of get stoned to and have some 420 moments and stuff like that. Roll ups and swishers, some backwoods and stuff like that. Just some overall great times to kind of have, I would have to say. The social score, I'm going to go ahead and give like a nine and a half out of 10. I would almost give it a 10, but I just kind of feel like the concept of it, it's a little bit low key and it's not really available on CD or if it is, it's kind of hard to find out how to say if it is more available, that's definitely a good thing. But it's just kind of a more low key kind of project that definitely needs more uh, this overall affability. And this, this is an overall project that just needs a lot more kind of spotlight and limelight as far as I kind of have. This is definitely too good to not pay attention to. I just question if folks like King Gordy's pretty low key and I think Bang Belushi's even more low key than that. So this is definitely one where you'd have to search for a little bit just to kind of say, but I definitely recommend it. It's just kind of the concept that is just, I mean, King Gordy's not one to really chart that much and Bang Belushi's pretty low key. So I'd have to say, I do recommend it. It's just kind of the concept about it. I just, you know, I'd have to give it a nine and a half out of 10, but it is pretty, the quality is there, I'd have to say. In terms of the future, like King Gordy's been dropping collaboration EPs and stuff like that. He's been doing stuff with like How to Gag a Maggot and some of those type folks as far as I can have. And some Bang Belushi is still a part of the Fat Kill. So I'd have to say some good stuff here overall as far as I can have. It's definitely a pretty classic little stoner EP as far as I kind of goes. Definitely recommend it. Definitely recommend seeking it out as far as I can have. So this is some excellent stuff here.